Understanding human anatomy provides a clear framework for describing the body's position and relationships between its parts. Anatomical position and directional terms serves as a standardized language in medicine and biology, allowing professionals to communicate clearly and avoid confusion. This video provides an introduction to these fundamental concepts, emphasizing their importance and application in anatomy and physiology. So, what is anatomical position? The anatomical position is a universally accepted preference posture used to describe location and orientation of anatomical structures. It ensures consistency in anatomical terminologies across different concepts and disciplines. So how do you describe an anatomical position? In anatomical position, the individual stands upright. The feet are flat on the ground and slightly apart, facing forward. The arms are at the sides with the palms facing forward. The head and the eyes are directed straight ahead. This position assumes a natural stance and serves as a baseline for describing any part of the body regardless of how the individual is oriented in space. So let's move over to directional terms in anatomy. Directional terms in anatomy are words used to describe the location of one body part in relation to another. They are essential for accurate communication in medical and scientific contexts. So let's go through the directional terms used in anatomy. The first one, superior and inferior. Superior, also called cranial, refers to when a structure is closer to the head or higher in the body. Example, the heart is superior to the stomach. Then inferior, also called caudial, indicates a structure is closer to the feet or lower in the body. An example is the liver is inferior to the lungs. Number two, anterior and posterior. Anterior, also called ventral, denotes a structure is closer to the front of the body. Example, the sternum is anterior to the spine. While posterior, on the other hand, also called dorsal, refers to a structure closer to the back of the body. Example, the spine is posterior to the heart. Three, medial and lateral. Medial indicates a body position closer to the midline of the body. For example, the nose is medial to the eyes. Lateral. Lateral refers to a position further from the midline. Example, the arms are lateral to the chest. Number four, proximal and distal. Actually, these terms are primarily used to describe structures on the limbs. So for proximal, proximal refers to a structure closer to the point of attachment to the trunk. Example, the elbow is proximal to the wrist. This style indicates the structure is further from the point of attachment to the trunk. Example, the fingers are distal to the elbow. In addition to directional terms, understanding anatomical planes is also crucial in describing sections of the body. These planes are imaginary lines that divide the body into specific regions. Number one, the sagittal plane. The sagittal plane divides the body into right and left portions. The mid sagittal plane splits the body into all left and right halves, while the parasagittal plane divides the body into unequal right and left parts. The frontal or coronal plane. This plane separates the body into anterior, the front and posterior, the back section. It is commonly used in imaging techniques like X-rays and MRIs. Transverse or horizontal plane. The transverse plane divides the body into superior, which is the upper, and inferior, which is the lower portion. It is often used to view cross sections of the body. And then the oblique plane. An oblique plane cuts at an angle that is not perpendicular to the standard planes. It is used to examine structures in more complex orientations. So in conclusion, the anatomical position and directional terms forms the foundation of the language of anatomy. 
by providing a standardized framework for describing the body. They enable clear communication among healthcare professionals, educators, and researchers. Mastering of this concept is essential for everyone pursuing a career in health sciences or studying the human body. Understanding and using this language consistently ensures precision in diagnostics, treatments, and scientific exploration, ultimately improving patients' outcomes and advancing our knowledge of human anatomy. Until next time, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this.